Paul, another very interesting muzzle device, <laughs> a very unusual muzzle, muzzle device uh, going through our little workshop uh, at the farm. Uh, and this one is extremely light. Uh, it is made of titanium. So uh, it, you, you know, it's almost like when you will drop it, you want to watch it float up <laughs> because it's so light. Um, extremely light uh, material. Titanium is uh, light, but uh, it's kind of expensive. It's just because of the material. But let's go to the to the roots and uh, let's see how this thing performed. As always, first was a dark room and it created a beautiful effect, uh, you <laughs> may say, like a, 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 what you said, it was a Christmas tree? A tactical Christmas tree. Tactical <laughs> Christmas tree. Uh, but uh, to, to the credit of this muzzle device, it doesn't, did, did it really blind you off? No, the, the, what signature there is, is really quick. You don't really see it. One thing which I have noticed, you got a lot of sparks flying yeah. off from it. And basically because there is, you know, all you see, uh, it looks a little bit like a birdcage design, but there is no bottom. But uh, all these open slides and there is a lot of those debris flying off from the, from the charge uh, on the round. So nothing is containing this. And, uh, but it creates a beautiful spectacular effect <laughs> on the slow motion as uh, you, can, you guys can see it. It really looks beautiful. And uh, then you got a little bit of the fireball uh, moving, uh, moving forward. Very interesting shape. Uh, but as for the shooter, as you said, uh, I think the main idea is to contain the flash and that was achieved. Yeah, yeah. That, that was achieved. Now we moved to the uh, our side wave pressure test station uh, head and uh, we're making a bet that it's going to be some filling effect based on what we have seen from the dark room and it moved the head it moved the head uh, you know it wasn't that much it didn't spin the head like some of the some of the other muzzle devices but uh, there is the side side wave pressure coming coming out and mainly it's like you said it's that cone uh, going forward in on the sides uh, very interesting it, it reminds me of jellyfish if you will think about it swimming in the ocean expanding and, and going that way kind of kind of interesting but there is there is a side wave pressure test uh, you can feel it it's not bad nothing what uh, you know I'll be very concerned about uh, but it, it is pushing the energy uh, blast to the sides and that's kind of normal as we said that energy has got to go somewhere uh, but if you are working in a team probably it's not that bad no probably it's not that okay. bad now, very interesting question, Paul. How was it on the recoil side? It was actually uh, surprisingly not as bad off as we thought it was going to be. That is that is uh, that is a good observation. I agree with it. However, you can feel it that oh, yeah. energy going yeah. back. Uh, I think uh, it's again it jumps and pushes back, uh, and uh, and and. You can do the follow-up shots. You spend more time shooting at the close-range targets. How was it from your perspective? Uh, it wasn't that bad, really, with the follow-up shots. I, there's some jump to it, but you know, like it, with anything, you, if you time it right, you can you Absolutely. can make the shots. It just takes Absolutely. a little bit more time. Did you have the problems aligning the sights after the shot? No. No. No, not really. So it performed very well uh, in that department. Uh, I shot it. I took it to the uh, to the extended range. I was shooting. I don't mean extended. I, I was shooting from the hundred yards and uh, shooting. You know, kind of fast I had no problem doing the follow-up shots mm -hmm. whatsoever from prone position uh, and also you were shooting from the kneeling too how was it in that kneeling marksmanship position did you feel that more pressure because it's kind of uh, not really stable position no no you definitely have to lean a little more Forward. into it yeah to control it better but uh, interesting interesting uh, muzzle device uh, what I really like about this it's light yeah. It's extremely light and uh, spectacular effects, spectacular <laughs> visual effects uh, in the dark room. But other than this, a very interesting, uh, very interesting design. Uh, I, I think it's worth of checking out and it's light. It doesn't add anything to the, to the uh, you know, front end of the rifle. It's absolutely probably the lightest muzzle device we have tested oh, uh, yeah, so definitely. far. And uh, you know, the titanium, it's expensive 
but uh, if, uh, if you're looking for a weight uh, conservation uh, efforts, this works very, very well. Paul, the last thing I forgot to ask you, you were a test dummy for the, uh, without the Ear Pro. How was it uh, in that department if you have to shoot it without the Ear Pro? I wouldn't shoot many, many rounds. Okay. It's, it's got a definite crack to it that makes your ears ring. How was it, Paul? There's a nice crack to that. But. Uh, yeah, so this is something which you guys always have to be aware of it too with the muzzle devices, especially if you're thinking about setting up the, the rifle for the, you know, like home defense. Be aware uh, that some of these muzzle devices, they will produce a tremendous uh, noise which will be amplified inside uh, the, the walls. So, and you're not going to have a time to wear either Ear Pro or Eye Pro. Uh, be ready for it, you know, uh, get, get kind of accustomed to it and to, uh, you know what to expect expect other than this fun to shoot yeah all absolutely. right guys thanks for watching please let us know if you have any questions